the solemnity of uh, Assumption of the Virgin Mary. This is what happens to people who persevere in life amid trials, difficulties uh, in life, challenges in life. The Virgin Mary, uh, she was favored by the Lord, but she was born in and from a poor family, but she remained faithful to the Lord, humble and faithful in her life, very humble. She was not, she did not become a uh, Miss Universe, she did not become a head office, nothing. She was there, but in her humility, she accepted her life as a gift from God, and the promise of the Lord to her, she welcomed it with generosity. At the end, she was exalted by the Lord, soul and body, and today she is in the glory of the Lord. So, there is no need actually for us to make a long reflection for today. Because the example of the, the life of the Virgin Mary is already a reflection to us. Each and every one of us can really see how we live our life, how I live my life. Mary did not overload, overload herself with many things that we think that we need. Like what we see today, we have this one, we, have, we need more, we need more, we need more. And people are never satisfied because, in fact, we will never be satisfied with the world. Never. And we will never be at rest in the world if the Lord is not the one being with us. So, Mary welcomed the promise of God. Mary welcomed Jesus in her home. And the home of Mary became the first tabernacle because Jesus resided that resided inside. So the first tabernacle was the home of the Virgin Mary, where Jesus was put by God, by the power of the Holy Spirit. And she carried Jesus here and there in her life. We are followers of Jesus Christ. We also carry Jesus, but not all the time. Many times we carry ourselves, especially when we see life, the people to whom we need to, to talk, or the people with whom we need to make it. It seems they are lower than us in terms of knowledge or whatever. Uh, we think, we, we, we have the impression that we are higher than others because we know this one, because we are like this, because we, we have this talent, because, yeah, we can have something that the others do not have. But what do we have that we never receive from the Lord? Simple sense. We have everything and we receive everything from God. And everything we receive from God, we receive it, not for our own good, but for the sake of common good. And Mary welcomed Jesus Christ in her home. And she did not keep the Jesus in her home. She, deli she delivered the Jesus Christ and she gave Jesus to the world. And today, we enjoy the presence of Jesus Christ. Today, we enjoy the fruit of the salvation we receive from Jesus Christ. Because the Virgin Mary gave Jesus to us. So, the very precious gift that she received from God, that the one she shared with us. Today, let us be inspired by the Virgin Mary to share what we have. To really share what we have. I'm sorry to say what I'm going to say now, but I need to say that because it happened in our means. In the past years, in the very past years, I was lucky for day and priest. As we were studying here, many brothers, some are priests now, were juniors, postulants, something like that. Talented, but they were not using their talent in the way you are using now. Really? Really? It was not like that in our seminary here before. People were so indifferent and arrogant. That is why not many of them became priests. Really, it's really different now. We can see really the commitment of the people, and that's good. So we encourage each other to be committed. We encourage each other to use the fruits, the talents we receive from the Lord for the good of the others, so that God will be glorified and we will receive more blessings from God.
And we say this because we are inspired by the Virgin Mary, who was so faithful to the Lord, and then we gave us Jesus Christ. And today, we see what happened to her, what God did to her. For whatever she has done that was good in the name of God, today she is in the glory of God. Let us imitate the Virgin Mary so that we do, we will not be praying for nothing. But at the end, for becoming Christians, when the Lord comes, we do, we glory with Him. God bless us all.